Warning, this podcast may contain adult language that is not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, this podcast may contain spoilers, so if you're not into that sort of thing, you might want to skedaddle. So yeah, and then she was like, what? And I said, hey girl, you know what's in the soup. <laughs> what? This soup. Keep it in the kigurumi. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, you guys missed an awesome joke. Welcome to uh, the comic cast. <laughs> we just did weekday one of so I forgot what I'm talking about. Dakota, <laughs> mm. uh. you look pained. Mm. <laughs> I'm really excited to do this in the comic cast because we're going to be a little more conversational today and we're going to... We're going to recap on the Momocom. We're going to talk right. about a couple you things did. that got written down. We're going to talk about Don Machi. We got a lot in store for you guys today. Don Machi. But who, who do we have with us here today? I'm Cody from Convention Reviews. I do that stuff. You can go check out the Momocom stuff coming out on my channel right now. It's pretty cool. You can follow our adventure. We were all there. Uh, yeah, let's put Don Machi up there, man. That's good. Uh, but who are you across from me? Uh, I am Nate the Great. Howdy, y'all. Why isn't that your Twitter name? Because he can I like change it. He can change it. Change it. Mm. Nate the Great. Hashtag change it. Hashtag change it 2015. I'll change the name, but not the at, because you can't. Right? Yeah, you can. You can change the at. Mm-hmm. Think so? Mm. Yeah. As long yeah. as it's not taken. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Nate the Great Actually, is taken yeah. somewhere. Yeah, probably. Depends yeah. on how you spell it and how you, you spell it. Spell Nate it. the Great with like an 8. Nate the Great with No, N8. All the, the E's are E's. All the E's are threes. No. N8. <laughs> That's too hard to advertise. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Mr. Director, otherwise known as Dakota. From what? Where do we know Oh, you? I'm from here, and I'm from, you know, from <laughs> from America. Stuff. What about all that little daily show you do? What that? What's that? I don't know what that is. Weekday one up. Oh, yeah, up that too. Up on the week one up day? Up on, up on the daily. Get the F out of here. Up on the daily <laughs> two up. the podcast. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm Jubi Dooby Doo, guys. Jubi Dooby Doo. From what? Where I'm is, from the Comicast, and I have some special appearances on Weekday One Up, hashtag. What is and it? we're all in convention what reviews. WD One Up. WD One Up, and I'm on, sometimes I'm on convention reviews, just chilling, walking around, looking. Chilling, killing. Cool and stuff. Grilling. You know. Krilling. I don't look like Krillin. Kind of. I'm not saying you do. You're not bald. No. You should cosplay Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not short enough. You don't have to be short. Nate said he's buzzing his hair. He's I'm thinking about us, it. But like I shaving can... it off? No. Just, uh, I was talking about like buzzing it. it real short. You should let You've Taylor done that. Do it. It. You've done that before. No, real short. Oh, shorter. Yeah. Do yeah. it, dude. Or I know, bro. Are you gonna I, they want yourself? me to just cut it all. You gonna do it yourself? Off. Let's see what no. it. Let's see what it looks like buzzed first. Okay, yeah. Do the buzz first and then cut it all. But off. But leave the beard. Oh well, the beard's staying. I think he needs to cut it all off, and then get a goatee. I don't know what he's going to do. Nah, keep the beard. Can you grow the goatee in a little thicker, or is that as thick as it comes? This is as thick as That's why I said keep, right, keep the whole beard. Yeah. The whole beard. <laughs> it's not going to I wanted to try. I wanted to try and do it before I came here so you guys would be surprised, <coughs> but it I beat wasn't, all. wasn't in the time. I beat all y'all. It wasn't in the cards. What'd you do to us? Oh, getting here? Oh, in the beard department. Oh, I thought you said getting getting to the podcast. <laughs> I was like, did no. you now? <laughs> no, I was late. <laughs> Very late. Like, so late that Drew, he didn't want to tell you when he got here, but he was mad. Who are you? He He's going to beat your butt. Were you mad, Drew? Mad about what, guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was mad about you being late, bro. Get on your shit. He was there to beat your butt, bro. Mm. He was gonna but then he told us, his... he gave us a legit reason why he was late, so I was like, whatever, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Drew's been late sometimes, too. Every now and then. <laughs> My dad decided to have a life talk with me. How did that go? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's how it went. <laughs> not even like a synop- like not a synopsis, but like a good or bad. It was bad. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. All of the like, like the talk was bad, or it was just bad for you. Yes. <laughs> Do I get to hear about it later? I'll tell you about Probably. it. Probably. I'll put. Pe- oh, you don't work tomorrow. I'll tell you about it later. Yeah. I'll talk about it off podcast. Okay. So what's our first topic today, Great Cody? Our first topic today, I feel like we're really in a swing today, guys. Mm-hmm. Other than Drew over here. What is, Get off Facebook. Naked Girls? Oh, yum. 
No. Get off. Girls, <laughs> girls put stuff. No, that's hey, awesome. Sea Dragon. Hey. We're actually going to talk. We're about on Facebook. Get off Facebook. Get off Facebook, bro. I'm not on Facebook. I know I checked my phone a little bit a minute ago, but I was. Go ahead, bro. I was in between. I might not be able to stay this whole podcast. What? Yes, you are. I promise. Where are you leaving? I got Who's things picking to you do. up? Let's go. Talk. talk I drove talk. you here. Let's go. I will walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're talking about. Momocon. Momocon 2015. Ooh, Momo. I forgot. Guys, 8. I want to apologize. We said we were going to do a podcast at Momocon. You don't understand. Especially when you go to a con for the first time. You've never been there. You don't understand how busy you end up. Mm-hmm. We were so busy. Even on Thursday, which is when we probably should have done it. But, like, even Thursday we were busy. I don't like the idea of doing it on Thursday because we don't know how the weekend's going to go. Yeah, but... I when, are, when, when else do we do it? Sunday? The, I mean, if it was a closer con. Right. If it was a closer con, Sunday's the day to do it. But we had to that drive nine hours. Nine hour drive is just killer. Mm-hmm. I thought the drive home was. It was easier than the drive there. Yeah, I thought so too. We were all tired driving there, so we wanted to switch off all the time. Well, I thought me and Dakota weren't tired. Were you tired? Nah. Yeah, was I was. I was okay. I don't remember. Well, it's because you didn't sleep like a dummy. I just couldn't sleep. So, what did we think about MomoCon? Any, like, standout stuff? Um, it was I thought a lot happened. Yeah, there was a, a lot, lot did going happen. on. A lot. There was so much that happened that we died. Yeah, we're dead right now. We're pretty hard. We're haunting. We're haunting the world. Just welcome to the afterlife. That was a good time. You're dead too. Yeah, let's start with you, Drew. What did you take away from Momocon? Um, not physically. I thought you took away something because you wrote me later and you were like, "I feel inspired. I feel like I want to do." Oh, stuff. dude, when we uh, met, uh, beat down Boogie and the guys, M- Micah and. Brandon Lee or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. They were really cool. They inspired me because um, a lot of the work they did, I didn't know that they were doing like pro bono, pro bono like not getting paid. Like they have separate oh, lives no, from what yeah. they were doing. They, oh, yeah. they, they can't get have, paid for it because it'd be copyright and stuff. They probably have a. Pay, uh, well, they, they're on their Patreon now. They just got a Patreon. Yeah. Right. Which but I'm sure they're I feel like because Team money. Four Star doesn't yeah. make any money from Dragon Ball Z. They can't. Yeah, they can't. That's straight. They're actually using their footage though. Mm hmm. Right, right, I know. I'm sure they have some kind of Patreon set the, up, too. I'm just... They should. The, t- the stuff that uh, they talked about, like, all the stuff they had to do to make sure that they didn't get any copyright strikes, like, they had to redo every Steam song from Mario and stuff just to make sure it was a little different so they could say it was their own. Mm-hmm. For parody purposes. Yeah. It's really cool. Like, so you were inspired? I thought it was really awesome. I got they Brandon Lee's me. me. What did it inspire you to do? <laughs> I want to make... Do bigger than what we're doing. It inspired me to grow and be more open and try harder at things. That's what I... I, I, I took the same thing away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to do karate. That's what inspired you? And uh, just something I want to do. That'd be cool. For real, though, like, I don't know. I took away... I think all of us probably did. Uh, took away that, like, we can do more. Like, we just got to go out there and do it. Like, they're just dudes, honestly. And they mm-hmm. just figure out how to make this work, and they're doing it. And why can't we do that? We've got the camera. We, it'd be nice if we have more than one. We can have different angles and stuff yeah, going on. But nice. we can do it. You know, we can do it just fine with one. Shia LaBeouf will be proud of us. Yeah, just do, do it. it. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was super inspirational. And it was inspirational to me, like, with my con stuff. This whole con was, like, just really inspirational with the con stuff. Because meeting real T-Dragon. Mm-hmm. Aficionado which, guy. Whatever. Yeah, the aficionado now, guy. You were tell- Dakota was telling me that you guys went to a panel, you and him. And the panel was talking about videography and stuff. And he said that what you took away from it was you're going to change up convention reviews based on it a little bit. Oh, uh, well, a little bit. Like, right. I want to, like, I want to, like, learn how to, I want to be more one-on-one with the cosplayer. But the, I, what I found, because I tried to do this at MomoCon, I'm going to try even harder at Midwest because that's my home con. I think if there's anywhere that I can get this for the first time, it'd be good is there but i want to be like more like grab the cosplay and like be like can we like go over here where there's not as many people and i get some good shots and like really just focus mm-hmm. like more on this one person and try and get a lot of shots on this one person instead of just a lot of different worse shots on a bunch of people right that's why it's like away from so like, kind of like do what you're doing now with like you want to get your those kind of shots but take a little bit from like Tea dragon like just come here come here yeah i want to get more like i want to get more footage like i don't have to use each shot that i take Right. But, like, get, like, maybe five or six shots of each cosplayer. Mm-hmm. Like, and have maybe, like, a wide-angle shot and, like, a detail shot on some armor. 
a swing shot from a sword or right. something. Every single vo uh, vlog just doubled in size. <laughs> yeah. But, like, it's hard to do because every time I see a great cosplayer... Everyone wants it. They're surrounded by, like, ten people getting pictures, and it's like, I can't even get in there. Like, even to get a good video stand in there, it's hard to get in there. So I'm something i got to figure out. I'm wondering, like, I, I honestly don't know how big T-Dragon is, like, how many subs. He's at 13,000. Okay. So I'm not sure, like... There are people that don't know who he is, obviously. Oh, yeah. He's big there, though. He's big in the cell. Right. So, I'm wondering, like, how exactly they understand what you're doing or something like that. Yeah. I think it's better in the South, though. It was better than here in the Midwest. In the Midwest, everybody I ask is expecting a picture. That's what they expect. All they ever right, ask for is right. pictures. But down there... That happened a couple times, but I felt like the majority of people, when I said, can I take a video of you, they knew exactly what I was doing. They knew it was for a cosplay mm -hmm. music video, and they would do action. I didn't even have to direct them nearly as much, which is something that gets me up here, because people, like, they don't... You can't just... I'm not a great director, because that's not what I do, so they have to be willing name. to be directed, <laughs> and there's a lot of people who just aren't willing to be directed. Like, right. But I can figure it out, you know, I can make it work. It's just, I'm new at this or something. I still got to figure it out on my own. Mm -hmm. You'll get it. Yeah. So, and I was thinking about it. I'm pretty much the cosplay videographer for the Midwest. I mean, honestly, there's other ones, but I'm at least a thousand subscribers over everybody else in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I'm kind of paving the way here in this area of the United States. So, of course, I've got an uphill battle. It is weird, like how the midwest doesn't really have anyone it's it all is. it's all east south and west yeah like i had when we when i first started doing convention reviews like i've said before i didn't even know there were cosplay videographers because we don't have them here and i wasn't looking up other cons mm -hmm. like i was like okay this would be a cool idea i'll do this all i knew was joygasm and I, his videos are very different than cosplay videos and i was like okay I'll, i'm kind of gonna copy this style a little bit and learn from it and you already did vlogs yeah, I was already doing vlogs. Vlogs was a thing here, but I already passed up all the vloggers here. Right. So, like, it's just weird how quick it's growing. And he's not saying, you know, I passed this up to be... I'm know. not trying to be a jerk, but, yeah. like, I think... I seriously sometimes... If there's any, like, people who want to do vlogs that are listening to this, something I would tell you is that... And this is starting to change because people have taken inspiration from my channel and now copy my style of doing things. Mm -hmm. But... A lot of people were copying, copying for a long time Deja Vu D's style. And I have no problem with Deja Vu D. I think she's awesome. She's one of my favorite con YouTubers. But her style is... Talk to the camera, right? Well, there's that. That's a whole different thing. If you want to do talk to the camera and never show the con, that's your own thing. But uh, I don't agree with that either. But I think... I don't know if you guys even know about this, but Deja Vu D, and she can get away with this because she's so big, but a lot of these smaller ones can't, and they think they can, is to post a... Instead of just starting with the vlogs and starting the vlogs coming out right after the con, they post a trailer for the vlogs. And then they wait a week, and then they post the first vlog, and then they wait another week to post the second vlog. You can't do that when you're a small channel. Nobody knows you exist. If all you do is post a trailer that's like, the trailer may be cool, but what are you going to get? Maybe 10 subscribers off of it, 10 people knowing about the vlogs. And then by the next time when you actually start posting the vlogs, nobody cares about the con anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I grew quicker is because I put all my stuff out like two days. It was dumb. There it is. Everyone still cared. But <clears throat> my rant's over. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to say about Momocon that stuck out? Uh, we got to meet Real T Dragon. What'd you think about that? That was great. That was a lot of fun. That was a fun experience. Saturday night. Saturday was a good. We got to do a weekday one up with him. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it's hard. It's easy to find because it's the only one we did that week. And his face is in the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, a picture of us with him. One of the things, like, I was on point with the buttons. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're like, yeah, I want a button? Yeah, I was just like, the second they started asking, like, dude, it's Cody. You're like, like that guy we knew in button. high school who was just like, anybody wants some goodies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what was his name, dude? D'Armin. D'Armin. Oh, my God. <laughs> he'd, he'd go and steal freaking candy from, like, gas stations and put it in a duffel bag and then just walk around the lunchroom. Wouldn't eat lunch, just walk around and just go anybody wants some goodies. And he <laughs> I made think I bought Skittles from him once. He made bank. He made like 20 bucks a day walking yeah. around for half an hour. Yeah. Really. Are you sure he stole them? I heard rumors. Mm. One of the things... He was selling them cheap, so he probably did. Yeah. 
<laughs> you sell them like a dollar for any for whatever you want's a dollar. Oh really? Mm-hmm. So what, Nate? I just, it made me realize like at the con like this I think it's the third time it's happened that when one of the fans is hanging out with us just for an extended period of time, they always they always are like, "Am I being weird?" To, they, and they always do, yeah. and they only and they always ask me, and they're like, "Am I being okay? Like, is, am I being overbearing?" I've had to ask myself a couple times. And I, I mean, as long as you're not like touchy feely or anything weird like that, I mean, it's, well, Dakota might like that. But it, <laughs> I won't. Uh, but yeah, I don't. Cosplay isn't consent, guys. Oh gosh, let's not get into that, <laughs> especially with the con we're talking about. Yeah. Do we want to touch on that? No, not at all. No. All right. Um, a lot of controversy surrounding this con. Yeah, I'd rather not touch on it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's really interesting that, like, we're at a con. Like, for real, guys, we're there to have fun and be overbearing and And stupid. talk to people and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not just for us to have fun. So we're if any to- of you guys are going to be at Midwest and you're going to meet me, Dakota, and Drew, don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to hang around. Just, the only thing that we ask is, like, if we are kind of like we need to go, then let us go. <laughs> like, if we need to go to the room let's or we need go. to get out, you got to let us go. You can't try and follow us everywhere. Cause no, and, that's not meant that to, and that's not meant to be mean. Yeah, we just have other stuff to do. Like, we're at the same con. You'll see us again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, especially Midwest. We just can't. It's awesome to stand around and talk, but we can't do that for the whole thing, mm-hmm. you know, which is going to be hard as we get bigger and more and more people want to talk, but we'll do what we can, you know. Mm-hmm. So, anything else before we move on to the next topic? I thought the flow party was really fun. Flow party was really cool. I, feel like I wish the- I'd have been more awake. I really do. I feel like it was the best part of... Like the rave and the dances at the end of the, like it's the rave on Saturday. I didn't even get in. It was way too long of a line. I didn't even try. It, it went got quick. In. It went quick. Got yeah. In. Drew was scared. I was salty. He was mad. We were talking. He was like, "Bro, we're not getting in this rave." I and he like, upset. "Who did you call, Taylor?" Yeah, I was talking to Taylor. And he was like, "We're not getting in this rave." And I was like, "I I was like, eventually I got up and I was like, Drew, let's just go get in line. <laughs> we're never getting in if we don't get in line." Mm-hmm. And it was like twenty minutes. Whatever. When me Dakota. Chris, Alex, and Jess all came downstairs. We saw the, we saw a part of the line. We're like, oh, that's not too bad. And then we turned the corner, and yeah. immediately the, the first thing out of my mouth was, "Fuck that!" Did you walk all the way to the end of it? No, it I went, went outside. Walk, it went outside into the yeah. Hall of Fame for football. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it went far. It was starting. It was getting to where it was about to wrap around. All aboard the nope train. Yeah, it went quick though. It was like it couldn't have been more than twenty five minutes. It's because they were letting fifty people in at a time. Right, and so they had when you got in course. there. It wasn't even that packed. Yeah. Then why was there a line? Probably yeah. to keep it from getting super packed. Mm-hmm. But the weird thing was, up front, it was unlike any other rave I think we went to, where they really were, like, shoulder to shoulder. Congested. Like, very. It I was... Hate, you I don't could like not that move. kind of rave. You did circle, not want to get... It was crazy. The circle was ridiculous, they man. They need like, referees out there. They <laughs> have one. They have oh, yeah, they did. The I think that guy just dressed up, but... I don't know. He was picking people, though. He was, he like, was like, hey... You grabbing them, getting them in, and doing the dance, and, and then he's like, all right, you're done, you're done. Who's next? Who's next? But you couldn't even get up there, though. We got a play practice going on uh, in the same building, so sorry about the ad- excess noise. Yeah, but anyway, like... I jumped into the rave circle at one point. Oh, yeah, then, he did the moonwalk. What, what? Well, that oh, was yeah. on uh, the, was the floor. Was it at the floor party? I couldn't remember. Oh, you didn't make it into the normal, right? Nah. Oh, I was thinking about Friday. I was like, but Friday, it was just talking about. It was talking about the DJs. I feel like that should have been a Thursday thing. Yeah, that would have made more sense. Mm. But the flow party was awesome. It was. In my review, I advertised it. Yeah, I was like, go to the flow party next year. It was really cool. The uh, cat bread. The cat bread. All hail the pet cat bread. I didn't get in on that. The giant, or not giant, but the, I liked the... War Machine walking around oh, there yeah. and dancing. That, that Everyone was, cool. was asking me about my shirt, too. Oh, yeah. And my yeah. tie people liked it. That's the day that I wore it. Yeah. Um. Oh, man. Atlanta is a great city. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. It's one of the prettiest cities. I it, I hear a lot of bad things about it, but, you know, I'm sure there is. But we were visiting, though. I mean. Yeah, we don't live I'm there. Sure we but, live and there. we're also in the nice part of town. Yeah. I'm assuming it was the nice part of town. It looked like it. No, that's the ugly part. <laughs> oh, man. We need to go to the nice part. The nice part's where Dragon Con. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dragon Con. Yeah, we need to go to Dragon Con. The cosplay was insane. Dude. The cosplay. I don't know why yeah. you guys are saying that. I was seeing I feel picks. like it's the same. It's no, that cosplay, no was, that cosplay was on another level. Yeah, it dude. was. Really? Are you serious, yeah. I'm very, very serious. Did you see all the, like, we, handmade armor and, like, You were on the phone Gundam, the whole bro. time, man. You didn't the see Gundam? it. Did you see the Gundam? Yeah, that, co- yeah, that Gundam was me, awesome. 
But I'm just saying, you guys are acting like it was like really yeah, way over our compared head. to what we normally see. Yeah, yeah it was a lot of people. It was a lot more so good. good. Con. You probably saw saying? that stuff at what Asin? What other con have you ever seen that that like detailed of yeah. cosplay? At? We're not saying that the cosplay here isn't good. The hot cosplay that people make here is great, but it's few and far between. That was just on another level. It was like everywhere you turned was cosplay. Yeah, yeah. it was a good cosplay that someone made. Well, you guys have been to more cons than me, so. That's true. You're going to finally get to go to Midwest, bro? I'm really oh, excited yeah. for you to go there, dude. Like, That's one of my favorites. Con. It's It was just going to be Hashtag shots fired. Well, and Xavier. And his girlfriend's not going. Oh, so it's just going to be yeah. us four? Yeah. For three nights? Xavier won't even know till tomorrow. Oh. And if he doesn't go, then he gets a press pads badge. So... I would love to get a press pad. I would have definitely given it to you first because you'll probably be recording more, but so, I already offered it to Xavier, and I can't just be like, oh, I'm not going to give it to you because I'm going to pick I hope Xavier can go. That'll make the hotel cheaper. It's yeah. it's 109 if it's just yeah, us three. But if it's just us three, we don't have to pay for a badge. <laughs> That's true. It's still going to be cheaper than normal. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess let's move on from MomoCon. Unless there's anything you're dying to say really quick. Nah. I Just, just go to MomoCon I saw pics for ColossalCon, and I wish I was there. I don't. I'm okay with not going. What are you doing? Farting. The chair. It hurts my butt. Piano chairs aren't really the most comfortable. Sorry, I'm texting. So we got Don Machi next? Uh, no, I wanted to mention... Yes. I don't remember. Go to MomoCon next year, I guess. You get us there. <laughs> we'll be there. Uh, we no, going, we have one. I thought we were going somewhere else next year at that time. You going to MomoCon again? <laughs> well, I'm going to go to Ace in the week before and MomoCon. I might just have to. And then Colossus Con. I thought you weren't ever going to do two cons in two weekends again. Uh, they're a week apart. Oh. Oh, Colossal Con. I was okay That's not going saying. there because uh, there were. I want to go next year, but apparently the photographers were insane. Apparently they were everywhere, like even kicking people who weren't there for the con out of the pools so that they could take cosplay foot pictures it's like that's ridiculous Stop. You should, yeah you can't yeah remember. like it, and apparently there were cameras getting stolen like left and right like i don't know a, a bunch of people were saying they need to put a limit on the amount of press badges that they give out because i guess it was just insane with photographers i'm sure and a if lot you of know people anything there about me it. if you know anything about me i'm kind of hypocritical because i am a i'm not a photographer but i'm a videographer for cons and i don't like other press generally the only other press I normally like are other videographers, other YouTubers. I don't really like photographers. They annoy me. Mm -mm. They think there's some other level. They think they're better than everything else, and I'm not afraid to say that. Where do, I don't know where they come from. They come out of the freaking weeds, man. <laughs> I don't like them. I haven't met a photographer yet at a con that was genuinely nice. Yeah. They're just all, oh, this is what we do. We're professionals. Yeah, got to get like, the shot. Oh, oh, here we go. And then they walk up. Oh, you got your uh, big camera? You got your press badge? We're... What website are you for? Oh, I'm, I run a YouTube channel. Oh, well, I'm actually on a website. Oh, well, I probably get more <laughs> hits than you do. So why don't you stop? <laughs> I mean, maybe you get more. I'm sure some of them do, but you super cocky ones. I just, I doubt it. Okay, there's one bit of news that I want to talk about. Just right. because it's ridiculous. Uh, Did your mom get pushed back again? No. There will be more Naruto Shippuden filler. What? Why? Why? They told us one last filler arc. Can I just seriously say why? It doesn't make any sense. Money. Yeah, money. They don't want Naruto to end because it's their cash cow. They it's let no they killed Bleach early. Why didn't you just let Bleach keep going? You have a second cash cow, but like or start Bleach back up. Because now that the manga has gone further, why, Naruto's manga is ended. It's over. Why are you having another filler arc? Didn't they do that with the first Naruto? The manga was it had caught up to the manga. Mm. But then it had one. Because Naruto's like Dragon Ball Z. It never splits. It's just Naruto all the way through. Like how Dragon Ball Z is just Dragon Ball all the way through the manga. Oh, okay. But like it had caught up and then they did all that filler. What's the point of the filler now when the show is over? Can you just get to the end? When Especially the, since they're putting out movies with like yeah. that are past the end of the manga. When the manga ended, uh, the the thing going around was There'll be one last filler arc, mm -hmm. and then which we'll didn't get... make any sense anyway. But whatever. They we probably already had. They probably already had it written and scheduled and stuff like that. Um, and <laughs> I, I mean, it sucked, but I was just like, that's fine. I'm all caught up. But n more, that really doesn't make any sense. More filler. 
Yeah. I remember but, there was a time when you started One Piece and I was like, skip the filler. You're like, no, I gotta watch every episode. And I was like, you're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> Oh, I, with Nate? Well, yeah. I mean, I watched all, every episode for Dragon Ball Z. The filler's Z. not horrible. But it's not, but there's... You didn't watch every Dragon Ball Z episode. I didn't. I, I skipped. Didn't. I... Garlic Jr. I skipped that Garlic Jr. I should go back and watch it. I skip filler on everything. Fairytale? Fairytale's the only one I don't skip because I love Fairytale filler. It's only one episode of filler every once in a while, though. Yeah, Fairytale. They're on a filler arc right now, though, I heard. They had a filler arc. Did they really? It. And it was a really cool filler arc. I thought so. There was this one. Oh, it was like, like six episodes. Kind of earlier in the show, there was like this girl on a mech. Like yeah. A mech. And it was a powered mech by Natsu. Yeah. Yeah, that was like a six episode filler arc, but it, it was, was an okay filler arc. I, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as a show. Like, Obviously no. not, but the I think. Well, that's I, the thing. If it's six episodes, I can deal with that. Mm-hmm. But when you get stuff like Naruto, not Shippuden, and they have. The, se- the second half of the sh- show is a 70, 80 episode filler arc. Yeah, that's two years of filler. That's one thing, too. They should have just taken a break. But the worst thing is that now that it's over, to not just let it in. Mm-hmm. Dragon Ball didn't even do that. The manga ended, okay, they did They did it differently. They let it in, but then they did GT. That's what they should do if they want to do that. Let Naruto in, then make another series. Right. Why do you got to put like more before we can actually see the real ending? Naruto GT. And the worst part is Naruto's filler isn't like Dragon Ball's filler where they try and make it make sense in the story. It's like, oh, it's like Bleach's filler. It's like, oh, here's a side thing that maybe could have happened during the middle Naruto's of the in this, war. Yeah, yeah Naruto's middle, fighting, but hey, let's have a beach party. Yeah. In the middle of the Naruto war, they throw in an episode where a mech Naruto, so... I heard that's actually kind of cool. Though. It's funny. Comes in and just wants to destroy Naruto for some reason. It doesn't make any sense. I wish they would just make it make sense. Like, you're in a war... Can you imagine how much filler stuff they could have done? Like, have other people come back? Like, talk to Kishimoto. Be like, what characters are you not having come back from the series? And be like, okay, we'll have them come back for a filler, and we'll have, like, Neji fight them or something. Something Bleach Earlier. does that's good with filler um, <laughs> that I did notice, that if there's... <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. We're just an inside joke. Yeah. Oh. Um, that they'll they'll be doing this whole Aspada thing, or the Soul Society thing, and then if there's a filler episode... Sorry about that. Like I said, a lot of people here. Do um, you think they need this room? Probably not. Okay. Um, but um, they will skip and go to uh, someone else that's not into Soul, Soul Society at the time. Yeah. Why is it every time I'm going to make a point, something's got to interrupt me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the worst one at getting back I on know. track, I know. The weird thing is, like, I'm watching Bleach right now. I, I got past... You're the, watching it? Yeah. Oh, man, he's washing. Yeah. I said watching. I know. They put it in the washer. Um, the washer. But Bleach, re- in its canon stuff, it references its filler. Filler, yeah. So they were, I skipped a filler arc, and then they're referencing... Was it Bout? It was Bout. They were referencing Bout, and I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? I, I chose not to ask arc, questions. I like the Bout arc. None of you, you didn't watch it either, did you? A lot of people hate that arc, but it was dark. It was like gritty. It had fusion, like... That arc was good. It had fusion? I, mean, I don't care what anybody it. says. It was a cool arc. Like, it was dark. Like, it was the only arc in Bleach that legitimately at a point made me, like... Because I used to watch it at midnight on Adult Swim. Like, I'd sit there in my room. I was legitimately, like, I'm kind of frightened watching this. I remember watching Bleach's, uh... <coughs> uh I've not arc. seen that one. I want to see that great filler arc. arc. It's a great. great arc. So many epic battles that you, like... You get to watch, like... Ichigo fight his Zanpakuto. That's pretty awesome. Well, and then, yeah, it's just some cool shit. Drew um, wants to go home. <laughs> Let's talk about something Drew knows, because we, like, filler sucks, we know. Yes. Uh, Dom Machi. All right. That's what we're going to end the show on, because that's the only thing Are we're going to Are you caught up, Dakota? I haven't seen last week's episode. Okay. Well, we won't talk about that one, then. So you've not seen 10? No. You've seen 8 and 9? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Have I seen 10? Yes, you've yes. seen 10. We just talked about this earlier. You cannot remember things. First of all, two episodes left. Oh, oh wow. so sad. What? I don't understand how that's possible. Drew says there's probably going to be another season. Uh, for sure. It's they gotta sh- have they, they have No to. doubt. Unless something epic happens and just is like... I feel like they're just now making them cool. 
Like he just got they his just shine. Kill, kill but the off. build up wasn't bad. It wasn't too long. It wasn't too short. Yeah. Even in the build up, like they made it cool. Like with the whole thing with giving the knife. Like, mm-hmm. All that stuff. It was. There has to be another. There's a lot of build up. They've got to be, like you said, building up to something awesome. Yeah. Um, so, and well, they were talking about uh, in one of the episodes, uh, Floor 17. Oh yeah. Has that boss. Yeah, they can't be ready to go up there yet. What if he's respawned? As they're... I think what's going to happen, he's going to be respawned. They're going to be fighting him. I think Hestia and that group's going to come try and save him. But then that other god who's trying to, like, F him up and do something stupid. Um, Oh, you didn't see the new episode, so you don't know about Hestia. He doesn't know much. That is a spoiler. That's not a big spoiler. Yeah. Um, And then I think Eyes is going to come and be a part of it, too, somehow. She's so They're building up the characters still. Like, they're just building up her group still. I feel like it can't end yet. No way. There are two episodes left, but there's got to be another season. They've got to have that plan. Mm -hmm. And this show's doing great, as far as I know. This And the whole storyline is for him to get as strong as Eyes. The the sword princess. There's no way he's going to get as strong as... Unless... She's oh. level six. What if they kill him? She's level six. That's what I was thinking. She, what if they she's kill level him six. Off? He's level two. Yeah. What if they kill him, dude? What if they kill him off and then do something different? That is not impossible. Anime is getting less and less afraid of killing, like, killing the main character. <laughs> Shout I, out to. What comic got killed? Yeah, comic got killed. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah. What? Shout out to Girl Lagon. Spoilers. Did Salty. they kill the main character? Though? I think they did. Mm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, like yeah, they could switch it off and they, what they do they could do is show like his story end, and then the, they could do another season where uh, Sword Princess she talks about how she's the same way she's trying to get as strong as someone make her the main character and then make her, I think if they kill him it's done I show her really. story from when she was his level I could see him killing him and that be the end of the show or I could see there being a huge effing twist and they're all in virtual reality. Because it feels like a game. Level up, respawn. Mm-hmm. But they never mention that they're in a game. Yeah. What if there's a twist and like they wake up and they're like, dude, we're in a game. And I'm like, what if what if they're like old? And like... Reliving their youth. Him and Hestia are married. And like Eyes was his girl he was crushing on. I don't know. But they're like... <laughs> Cody's going over to Rainbow. <laughs> this, this sounds like... I love theory. twists, okay? This sounds like your theory on Let's how... Let's Shyamalan on this. This sounds like your theory on how... Uh, What's, Lily was the mother and How I Met Your Mother. I don't remember that. Yeah, you're like, yeah. I I, I kept going you, back and forth. I was Lily like, was? yeah, you, I remember this because I thought it was so stupid. You were like, yeah, I went back and forth because I was like, oh, Robin's the mom. Oh. I did used to think she might and, be. And you were like, Lily's the mom. And I was like, how what? could Lily be? Lily. I was like, well, maybe maybe Marshall dies. And, you Dude, know, he could have. And but he they clearly flash- references her as Aunt Lily. And flashes up to him being old and running for Senate. This was before I'm all the end. about twists and shows and stuff though. Like when I used to write, I guess I'm all about killing him because when I used to write books, uh, like novels and things. You were George R. R. Martin and loved to kill all your characters. No, all I would do is kill the main character. Like what? almost everything I wrote, the main character died at the end. You. What if they don't kill Belle but they kill Hestia oh. or uh, or Eyes? Dude, I could totally see that happening. No. Totally. No. To which one? Or both of them? Oh man, we gotta see the newest Game of Thrones. I've seen it. To which you watched it without me? Yeah. You jerk. <laughs> I heard it's great. It is. Chris you Black son of a there. bitch. Hey, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it is. You should have waited for me. So Don Machi. Can't wait. I'm looking forward to everything about it. It's gonna be. It's. Uh, I've been saying it this show. all the time. Like, can't wait. More. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more, give me more. We gotta be called up uh, next week, guys. Greece, yeah. really? Seriously. Is anyone not caught up on anything? Zaref and, uh... Zaref? I'm not caught up on Gunslinger. Of uh, Zaref. I'm caught up on Arslan. I'm Is caught that up... It? I'm caught up on Don Machi, Toma, Gunslinger. Are you the only one watching Toma? I'm watching Toma. Uh... It's great. Plastic Memories. Mm. Um... Show by Rock? Oh no! I forgot about Show by Rock. I need to watch that. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. This you're crazy, dude. (laughs) This show on my anime talk channel that I was doing, I fell off, but I'm gonna start back up next season. I'm gonna try. Um, My Show by Rock episodes have like 500 more views than every other thing. It's clear the winner this season of which show people like. I I do need to watch it because it's amazing, Drew. Like this week, so I'm caught up for next 
the comic cast. I'm going to watch all of Kick Eye Simpson. Oh, yeah. Arslan, Sarah, and Show by Rock. You're not caught up on Sarah? No. I'm still I'm, on I'm, like two episodes behind. Yeah, I'm two episodes Sarah. behind. Are you caught up? I'm not sure. That'd be, if <laughs> the I last one up, I saw was when they got the Hummer. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I'm way past that. Is it good still? Yeah. The Yeah. If I put all the episodes together <laughs> yeah. that I need to catch up on, I've got probably like 15 hours worth of show to watch. Whoa. So like I've probably got more than seven that. episodes. That's like a lot, bro. That's only like seven I've got episodes. Five I got a no, three. Goes oh, basketball. wait, that's like... 20 minutes episodes. 15 hours is seven episodes. I was, I was not doing episodes. the math right. Shut up. It's, no, it's eight episodes in Seraph. Eight, yeah, all ten okay. episodes in Arslan. You uh, haven't watched... Look, shut up. You're I'm not caught up on Listen, Arslan either. Not, Listen, three episodes if anybody's Arslan. watched Kuruko's yeah. Basketball that's listening to this podcast, let me know if I need to finish that because I've not started the third season. I have it in my possession I have not watched it. I'm kind of scared to. to watch it. Why? I don't know. But just let me know if it's good, guys. It's the problem is I've just been watching so much long anime to, to get caught up to. Like, I got... I powered through Annie's Lobby and Water 7. Now I'm through Soul Society getting into the uh, visor. Well, arc. I feel like you watch so much long anime. Why don't you do a set, set up like, say, I'm not going to watch more than one or two episodes of this show at this time. I you with so many blanks. That I you think just you okay, know. with the seasonals, too. You have to be caught up on your seasonals before you're allowed to watch Yeah, I think yeah. you need to have like one day where That's you say, I'm hey, I'm going to watch one episode of this, and then I'm going to watch my seasonals. Putting a rule yeah. for me that you guys don't even follow. I follow my <laughs> rules. Five yeah. episodes. I don't buffer. follow my rules. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, how far, how much are you behind on? Uh... I'm on three episodes in on Kekai and Arslan. Me too. You're only three episodes Me too. in on Arslan? Is Arslan what are you guys good? doing? Is Arslan not good? Arslan is amazing. I might be four episodes. Epi- right no, now. I'm four episodes in on Arslan. I told you, you told me that you thought that show looked dumb at first. I just don't like the main character. Actually, He's so JK, weak. You guys thought, you you thought got all this... the shows were dumb this season. So. Yeah, you got no, such a No, I thought Seraph problem. was awesome. You got such a problem. I thought Seraph was cool. Okay, he did. He did think Seraph looked good. And Arslan is just... he. I'm not going to say anything because yeah, I don't want to spoil, spoil I'm but catch up this week. the show is awesome. He hates weak main character because he doesn't like character development. I don't like weakness. He I likes you those like... Oh, you It's like... cool to be... not. I'm, I don't like being pathetic. I'm not going to say I don't like weakness because everybody has weak moments, but I don't like pathetic. I don't like being pathetic. So, like with Deadman Wonderland, you watched that and you liked it, didn't you? That was not pathetic. He was pathetic at first. Whoa, you sleep. I don't know about that. He had some heart in him. I saw it in him. What about... Especially when he was a kid. I know she used to say him all the time, but he was not a little punk. What was the other one? Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't like this one because the main character was weak at first. Evangelion? Yeah. Well, everyone doesn't like Shinji. No one likes Shinji. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot to catch up on. Mm -hmm. But I'm at my older brother's house. All I'm doing is watching anime and editing. Like... If there's not something, rend- no, if something is rendering and something is uploading, I'm watching anime. As soon as they end, I pause the episode, if it's not an epic part. <laughs> and go get the next thing ready, get the next thing going, and then just keep watching. That's my whole, I'm off for the next two days, and I'll probably catch up on the majority of everything. Because I have no distractions there. If I'm not doing that, I'm literally just sitting there. So. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll be caught up on everything. Yeah, we need to be caught up because the by shows are week. ending. Within two to three weeks, everything is going to be over, and mm. we need to be talking about the finales. So I know it's going to be tough. Can you do it, bro? I All can right. do it. I'll have to get you the episodes. Just, Just do catch it. up on what you can for now, and then we'll get you the episodes. Just do it. Do it. And uh, let's go into our final topic. All right. Which I don't know how long it's going to take. Maybe this will be a shorter episode, but if we're out of stuff, we're out of stuff. Um, you can leave suggestions for things for us to talk about. And we're going to be talking a lot more in future episodes because we got finales coming up. Mm-hmm. We got, we, we're going to have to talk about the summer season. So we got all that coming oh, up. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, it never ends when you summer season podcast. coming up. It, the anime never ends when you watch the seasonals. It's kind of aggravating. I love it. I love it too, but at the same time, it's but like, yeah, yeah, I got like, behind. Yeah, remember when Tokyo Ghoul came it's, out? Yeah. Do you remember that? We see so much more stuff because we're watching the seasonals. Can you imagine if we were watching one at a time? Are you going to talk about From New World now? Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk Let's about. Let's do it. Oh. I'm ready for that. I, yeah, when, I wanted you to tell me about it a little bit. When Don't we went spoil, to, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil a tiny, tiny God bit of, the, of what it's about. What? Nothing. I'm going to spoil No, just spoil <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to spoil like anything important, but... um. You okay? You good, bro? Yeah. Because we're going to talk it back up. I will. Okay. I'm just making sure. Because <laughs> in the last podcast, you guys leaned in. I leaned back right. earlier and you didn't say anything. Oh, I didn't notice. Lean back. Lean 
I just wanted to make sure to tell you because I listened to the last <laughs> one and it was a little low. You gonna dap me up because I'm black and you singing Lean Back? What? No. <laughs> okay, we're talking about <laughs> playing with you. <laughs> From the new world. So, keep your stuff on the door, man. We went to uh, Momocon, like we talked about the mm-hmm. whole first part of this. We went to the anim- or the AMV contest. And there were two AMVs from this show called From the New World that we've never heard of this show. You guys have never heard of it. Nope. I've never even seen anything from AMV it. contest was really good, though, too, yeah, the way you guys good. set that up. Very well done. Uh, but so we were like, we need to watch this show. And then we're all like, well, me and Dakota, at least, we were like, we need to catch up on our seasonals first. And then I had a moment of weakness. And I'm just, I was like, I'm going to watch one episode. Mm-hmm. I should have known it wouldn't. How many did you watch? I'm t- at episode t- 11 now, I think. How many are there? 26. Okay. Um, now I remember us thinking it might have been a movie because the way the A and B. I thought was it set. might have been too. It's not. It's definitely a show. And I can't believe look? I never heard of it. It it's looks called, so epic. It's got to be good if you're eleven episodes into it already. It's uh, more known by its Japanese name, which is Shinsekai Yori. Oh. So you guys might have heard. Of, you've heard of that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you didn't tell oh. us. I still have. You didn't tell us. My kind God. Of friend Shinsekai are you? Yori. So maybe you guys know what I'm talking about now. Uh, I it's think English name is from the New World, though. I think Giga talked about it. Oh, he might have. Good call, bro. I wonder if he's got a review of it. Mm-hmm. I'll have to watch it afterwards. But the way he does his channel, probably not. <laughs> well, it came out in 2012, so oh, he was, was two- he was on it back then. Uh-huh. Guys, this show's good. <laughs> I don't want to talk it up too much or anything, but this is my favorite show. It's on Crunchyroll, right? Yeah, it's my favorite show I'm watching right now out of all the seasonals. What? I like it better than all. Don't of them. you spit in their face like that? <laughs> what you? What you mean? <laughs> now they brought you through the spring season. Now you. Oh, this the new first from the AMV new world. I liked better than the second. Aqua No, no, it's no. a different Jake. Uh, the Why first. Put a sign on the door? Yeah, the first AMV I liked better than the second one. For the that what we saw, I honestly don't remember. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is it's a great show. Uh, What's basically it what it's about? It's a thousand years in the future from now. It didn't look futuristic. So it's futurama. It doesn't look like it's in the future, but there's a reason for that, and you're gonna have to kind of watch the show to learn that. I'm not gonna tell you guys why. Right. But um, some, like regret. Let's just say everybody. There was a time. It's supposed to have happened in 2013. So it's alternate history. Ooh. Uh. A bunch of people started being able to use, they call it TK, but it's telekinetic powers, and uh, started popping up, and basically it threw the world into chaos, and a thousand years later, is uh, there's this group that's living in a utopia, like, they're in a perfect society, quote unquote, but you, if you know anything about utopias, there can never be a utopia. Uh, there's always something in the back. Yeah. Dude, that's like Looper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly, exactly yeah. like Luke. It's also a the show is a lot like The Giver. If you know anything about The Giver, I mm-hmm. watched that. In oh like really? It. Yeah. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. Well, you that doesn't mean book? you won't like this show. Can it's just like I the premise is kind oh, of. You need to read the book. Books similar. Are uh, but books is great. Um. So they. But in this future, they start. Now everybody can use TK in the future, and they're teaching it was the kids. Genetic? Yeah, they're teaching the kids while they're young. TK Thunder. And they like kind of. <laughs> take it away because they're like oh it's evil we have to give you this mantra that we can control and that's how you can use it and they have to do this thing with the fire and then they take it away and then they give their powers back and they have to go to the school to learn their powers but it's not really about going to school it's all about this mystery of these kids trying to find out like what the world's really about because they don't know anything about it there's these like out around their little city that they live barriers. in barriers yeah there's barriers they're not allowed to go past it and all the teachers always talk, tell stories like every day about 500 years ago this guy went past the barrier and he turned into a demon and came back and like there was all these problems and so they can never go past the barrier and let's just say there's like new animals that popped up it's supposed to be based off our real timeline so anything like that doesn't exist now that you see it somehow evolved and they talk about it like they explain everything it really makes a lot of sense and let's just say one day they get outside the barrier and that's when I'm not going to tell you anything else that happens. That's when things really get good. <laughs> like, the first episode or two, it's like, this is an interesting premise. Where is it going? As soon as they go on the camping trip, that's all I'm going to say when you start watching it. That's when, be ready, because it's about to get, like, really good. And you got to really pay attention, because they talk to this animal. I'm not going to tell you what he's about. Animals are talking. But uh, it's not, I can't say anything. Okay, they talk to this animal, <laughs> and that's when you got to really pay attention. When you see him start talking to that, because he's going to explain everything about, like, the history and everything. And it's just, 
it's really weird. There's time skips. Like, it's just a great show. You should watch it. But I do have a warning, though. Um, watch it all And I day. know this isn't going to bug some of us. I don't know. Let's just, in their utopian world, in the future, it's a utopia. Like, everything's fine. They don't have problems anymore. So everyone oh, is yeah. bisexual in the show. Oh, I saw that. Look, Drew, he was like, hmm. And uh, <laughs> they don't hide it. There's definitely after... It only happens in one episode. But uh, they they show guy, girl, like, relationships building and everything, too. But they also show... And this doesn't bother me at all. It's just a warning to anyone that... I don't know if that's how you are, and it might bother you. I'm just warning you. There is one episode. It's episode eight where there's guy on guy and girl on girl. And it's just mis- making out um, and doesn't go any farther than that. Is well, it, the girl and girl it, almost does, but... Is the making out scene two guys, like, making out on a field of grass? And yeah. they're like, t- Giga did talk about this! Yeah. Cause, and that came out in 2013, because he was like... It came out in 2012. What? Well, end of 2012, end of 2013. Okay, because he was talking... Because he, he said, this show got widely overlooked because, Oh my god, there's a, guy, there's a gay make-out scene in I episode 8. That. Yeah. I remember that. I didn't realize that's what he was talking about. Yeah. No, but it doesn't matter. Just watch it. Episode eight's important too. So even if I remember that scares that. you off, don't not watch it. I, mean, I remember characters. that was the biggest point he made about the show. So yeah. we, uh, none of us really cared. That no, was that wasn't why. It was just that wasn't why. Well, we didn't know what it was. Well, no. was cause yeah, that's all he said about it. Yeah, that's all he said about it. Was he, that one scene. He said long. it was really good, and he said, but nobody paid attention because of that one scene. Yeah. And it's really sad. The show's totally underrated. But um, yeah, it's just one episode that you see it happen, and it. It actually is kind of weird. Like, it doesn't make sense because uh, it's after a two-year time skip is all I'm going to say. And before, all the kids, I don't know, they kind of seemed like the main girl seemed to be kind of crushed on the main guy. Like, they had the thing going on. And then after that, the main girl's hooking up with the other girl and the main guy's hooking up with another guy. And it's like, did they just flip their sexual orientations completely? And the one that everyone thought was gay, there's one that everyone thinks is gay in the beginning, he's suddenly straight and he's hidden on the girl that the main girl's with. It's just one episode, though. <laughs> and then after that, they don't ever mention it again. And it's like, okay. Cool. Just everyone's sexual orientation's well, bipolar. Well, it's, it's supposed to show that, like, this is a utopia. And their society's supposed to be a society based on love. That's what they always talk about. Like, whenever you're getting ready to fight, like, you're going to have an argument. Instead, you, you show love instead. And that's why, like, even children, they're like, children, it doesn't matter. You'll have sexual experiences because that's... It's not weird in their society. Like, in this future. That's what you gotta remember. It's not none of it's weird for them. So I don't know. I'm looking forward to watching. But the fighting is amazing. The story is amazing. Like it shouldn't be that the episode eight <coughs> should not be a Whoa. make or break for anybody. It shouldn't be because it's totally worth it. Like Right. Yeah. Just if you are if you do have problems with that, just when you see the do dudes in a field, just look away for a minute. Okay? And you'll be <laughs> fine. But you know it's coming, you feel it. You feel it. Yeah, you feel it coming, for sure. <laughs> Dang it. Animation's crisp, too. I'm excited to see the action, because I'm well, not AMV. I'm not too some of the good stuff. I've seen some amazing stuff already, but there's some stuff from the AMV that I'm like, oh, I can't wait till I see some of that. Okay, cool. But yeah. I'm looking forward to watching it. You guys should. Too. Unfortunately, we have to watch our seasonals. But... Darn. Watch everything tonight. I plan to like watch through all my seasonals and then like marathon through. It's really hard for me to not watch from the new world right now because I'm like so into it right now. But. I have a feeling Drew's probably not gonna like it, and he's I gonna think come. He's gonna love it. It's it's gonna be either it's gonna be either one of these things where it's like he comes in and he's gonna be like this is great, or he's gonna come in and be like I don't see why you guys like that so much. I think Drew's gonna <laughs> like it. It's really story heavy. It's really animation fight heavy. Like it's cool. It's really I'll give it a try. Five so we have a little buffer. time. The five episode buffer. We have a give it a time. six ev- six episode six really yeah. Okay. We have a little time. I had a question asked to me uh, the other day, and the question was: If you could pick one video game that you've played and not remember, and just replay it for the first time, so it was the first time you ever played it again, what video game would you pick? Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Two. Wait, repeat the question. So, uh, what's a game you love so much that if you could experience it for the first time again, like you have no memory of it, it's your first time doing it all over. It's first again. time playing it again. Mm. What game would you oh, pick? Oh, either Kingdom Hearts or The Last of Us. Uh, mine is The Last of Us. Just because that story mm. is just... Kingdom Hearts now, because I'm better at video games now than I was when I played that. 
and that'd probably be a better experience. Yeah, it'd be a way because I barely remember the first time I played it. Yeah. So. Or yeah. Jack Two. Jack Two blew my mind. Can I add to your questions? What anime for weekday one up? Hmm. Wait, was this asked on weekday one up? No, it was just a random oh. question I got asked. What, what What about you, Drew? About which one? An anime that you've never seen before. No, or game. Or a game that you've never never. A game played that again. Like, but experience it again for the first time. I'd love to play um, Final Fantasy VIII again or Dragoon. You play Dragoon? Mm-hmm. That's the game I was going to buy for my dad. Game. Oh, yeah. That's like my childhood, bro. I've heard so much. Alex, that's one of her favorite games. That game is amazing. It was on a demo disc for PS1 that I had. Did yeah, you know that and Final I, Fantasy I don't remember VIII. it. I just love Final Fantasy VIII storyline. Have you I'm, played Six? No. I heard Six is really good. I'm six so is, hyped. Who's the character? They just six? announced the... It was for the Super... It was the last one all for three. Super Nintendo. Uncharted games and the one for PS4. Yeah. So I oh yeah, put, you've never played. I haven't them. played them all. You haven't played any of them. Yeah, I didn't really care. Bits and pieces of two and three, but I'm probably not gonna buy it because I own all three. But I'm gonna buy it because I need to play them before four comes out. You played all three, right? Mm-hmm. You liked them. Beat them all. Yeah. You gonna play four? Mm-hmm. Okay, anime. Um. No, save. You can save for week day one if you're running out of questions. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. If it wasn't asked on week day one, we don't want to answer it. Okay. We only a- answer things. Well, the I'm asking then for um, week that for no, anime. Okay, so anime. Oh shit! I got a couple. Uh, either from the new world, but I'm doing that now. I don't feel great. Yeah. I do feel like this is gonna be one of them though, like because it's a it's sort of a mystery, and I'm never gonna get the mystery the same again. So anything like that. Um, but I think either it's a tie for me between Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho. It's, that's where the ties at. I would love to, cause those shows are just. Like, I feel like they shaped what anime is. Right. They're so amazing. I feel like I wouldn't want to pick a long one as my choice because yeah, I wouldn't pick One Piece. On I want I want to pick something like No Game No Life would be probably mine because it's one that I had to watch ep- one episode as it came out. Oh yeah. Uh, if it's I feel like if I could watch it for the first time again and marathon it. I would love it even more. Yeah. Speaking of, they need to come out with more for that show. I don't think any of you finished it. Mm-mm. I haven't watched it. Mm-mm. I got three episodes to go. <laughs> I would say either Gurren Lagann or Attack oh. on Titan. Uh, Attack on Titan, I would... Those are great answers. They are know. good, but I, don't, I feel like... Gurren Lagann, I would love to do <laughs> because... one. I've never seen it before. Yeah, because... Gurren Lagann. That's... Or Parasite. Uh, Parasite... I I, as much as I loved that show, I don't think I loved it quite as much as you did. Parasite's like in my top ten favorite anime. I, I mean, I loved it. It's definitely in my top twenty five, but I, I I don't think I loved it quite as much as Cody. So good. I like I'd love to watch FMA again. Oh, Brotherhood? Yeah. From the beginning. That's another great one. Like mm-hmm. you never Brotherhood. Seen. Brotherhood. That's a good call. What about Death Note? I really I you like still Death haven't Note. finished it. That's true. <laughs> Death Note I feel like actually you it's one you can't rewatch because you know all the plot twists. I've rewatched. I've watched it three or four times now. Really? I always. It always gets me. Uh, you think you'd think the same thing about Dragon Ball Z? You'd get annoyed annoyed with it after a while. But I've seen probably all of Dragon Ball Z six or seven times. Oh yeah. Just yeah. in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would. I'm actually considering after I finish from the New World when the next stuff comes out, um, watching all of Dragon Ball Z back over again. Skip the uh, filler. Right. Just because... Or I might just watch Kai. I might get the uncensored version of Kai because it's shorter. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's probably what it, I would do. And it takes the filler out. It's a better, yeah. better animated, too. It's remastered. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, it's a little better. High def or whatever mm-hmm. they do. So I'll probably watch through all of Kai and then uh, probably watch the Boo Saga in the actual Dragon Ball Z because that's not finished or dubbed or anything in Ma- Japan. But, uh, oh, yeah, not dubbed. What are you guys' favorite saga in Dragon Ball Z? So... Cell? Cell. I, I'm going to go with, with the Boo Saga. Just because... Better comedy. That's it. You, you could just... Difference Every between. single... The problem with the Cell Saga and the Frieza Saga... No, no, no. You'll get to, I'll get to my point. And the Frieza Saga and the Saiyan Saga is... The pacing? Goku, no. Goku is the hero in all those except for the Cell Saga. Gohan is. But basically Goku is the one that leads it up to it. That's one of the reasons that saga is so good. But the Boo Saga 
you have so many different people putting in their that's a good point putting their own Vegeta puts in his own Go Tanks but don't Gohan, forget Cell Saga now hold up Cell Saga when I say Cell Saga that includes Android Saga Right, and you got right. like some awesome. You got Final Piccolo. Flash for the first time. You got the Piccolo versus Seventeen fight. You got Future Trunks. Come on. Also, I think the story of the Cell slash Android Saga is the best story. I like Cell better as a villain. Yeah, Cell's a better. Villain. Cell's the best villain in Dragon Ball. Yeah. Or Super Seventeen. I like him a lot. Well, that's yeah. That's GT though. Super Seventeen's badass. I rewatched that fight again recently. But I also we were talking about this before you got here, but we're probably gonna start Dragon Ball Super four weeks late because it starts on J- July fifth. The movie doesn't come out until when was it? August, it, August, early August. It's our. It's been announced that Super takes place after the new movie, mm. so we need to watch the new movie first. But that means we'll only be four episodes behind. We can watch four episodes. Yeah. Minute. So <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh. This is a pretty decent time. It doesn't really matter. Volume up is up kind of high on this. This volume doesn't matter. This is for when you put headphones in. Oh, okay. Did you not know that? It the was just a lot of really thick blue. That's it's on the back here. It's the gain high. It's really thick I can turn it down it in the editing, though, too. Yeah, and it condensed it because it's oh, kind of okay. long. All right. You normally don't see it like that on weekday one up because it's not as long. I mm-hmm. got gotcha. you. I, I don't really pay attention to it that much when it's on here. Anyway, guys, we're done. This was our podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're back. Woo! Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have one next week. Next yeah. week might be a little less. Eh, I don't know. Next week's gonna be weird. Next week's E3. Yeah. Uh, we should have mentioned for weekday one ups. Next week is probably all gonna be. I'm thinking the weekday one ups will be because we didn't get our work off right to be able to do our live stream. We'll do that next year. We'll have more fans anyway. I'm thinking the weekday one ups should be. Um, we should just record them after each press conference. Our that was. Reaction. I suggested that to you. A couple months ago, and you didn't. Well, we were doing the live Sorry. stream originally, so uh-huh. I was like, "Why would we do that?" But now, for since we're not doing a live stream, we should, that's what we're gonna do. All right, it sounds good to me. So, and the, I don't know how the podcast is gonna go. Uh, I guess I don't know if it's gonna be video game. We got popcorn in a few weeks. Yeah. Well, either way, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. See you guys. Well, you can find me now. I have a Twitter. At uh, it's just at Mr. Chaos number and then just the number nine. Uh, you'll see a picture of me. Oh, <laughs> Drew, advertise yourself. Drippy do, guys. Remember to point it up. Yo yo. Wait, um, you can find me. Oh, are we doing um, Twitters? My yeah, mom. I'm Cody Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm uh, Mr. Director on all those things too. Just Drew Robinson, guys. Thank you all for Wanna watching. Visit? I'm listening. Are listening. Except for Instagram. Jerby do Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Stay uh, pointed up. I almost said stay nerdy. Oh, my butt. Stay pointed up. Stay pointed up. Stay pointed up. Stay pointed up. Stay pointed up.